You know what? It's the Cali Kickback. You understand me? Uh, it's your boy Lewis Belt. You understand me? We in this thing. Uh, we got a special guest in the building, man. A, a motherfucking NFL legend, man. You understand me? A Bay Area legend. You understand me? The one and only TJ Ward, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> TJ Appreciate Ward, this thing, you yeah. me? You know I got my player upon the watch on me, Quan, man. What's happening? What's happening? You already know, man. How you yeah. feeling? Wow. Hey. hey, nigga, I'm feeling good, my nigga. I'm having a good day. Uh, mm -hmm. Shit, nigga. Oh, you for sure having a good day yeah. with a nigga. I'm having yeah. a good day. Having a good day, man. My uh, nigga, You my, got some cash? This man, huh? That's yeah, like, so I, got, I got the cash part. I got the cash part. And then my, my son went to school full time, so Ooh. I, got, I got more time to so work. now you can yeah. get some ass because your son <laughs> at school <laughs> occupying himself. <laughs> Whole moments. Whole moments. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, nigga, feel good, man. I'm just... I'm happy because, nigga, I know, like, nigga, this is my birthday month, nigga, so some oh. shit finna shake for a nigga, like. Oh, mama. <coughs> I'm just ready, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm ready it, for it. It's a good story, man. We got yeah. TJ in this thing, man. He talking, telling us all about these NFL stories, man. Yeah. That all this, because it look good from afar. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, every nigga in the hood want to go to the NFL or the mm -hmm. NBA. Yeah. But we don't know the bad part about this nah, shit. you don't. Like, you don't. he was just talking about. The free agency going back, going to a different team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That don't sound like a problem, though, really, if you think about it. That's still nah, a It's blessing. just a stressor. Like, nigga, what the fuck? Am I going to keep doing this shit? And then having to pack up and travel? Because I assume once you play for it, since you got to go end up moving there, right? Yeah. I mean, like, for me, most of my career, like, I had the multi-year contract. So when it got mm -hmm. towards the end, you know, trying to get signed, working out a bunch of times, you know, not really sure what's going to happen next. That's... You know, some of these cats deal with that the whole they whole career. You feel me? Yeah. So mm -hmm. definitely, it's a blessing to have you know the contract that I did have. But you know, towards the end, that's why a lot of guys just they could play. You know, they could still could play, but they don't want to deal with the in and out or the one year contracts. <clears throat> you feel me? Not knowing where you're gonna play next year, and it's like, man, I done did what I could do in this league. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Oh, mamas, huh? How do you know when it's like, all right, it's time to hang it up? <sighs> When they don't want to give you no more money. <laughs> <laughs> when they hang your ass up. Huh? <laughs> when they give you the boot. Nah, for me, that's what it was. Like, you know, of course, I was still competitive. I could still play hands down. But it was that time where they felt like, I guess, the money that you know I wanted to garner wasn't, you know, what they was willing to pay. Mm -hmm. So it was all good. They just go younger, you know, mm -hmm. and cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Because shit. Yeah. You you have had a, a very successful career, man. How long how long did you play in the NFL? Eight. Eight years. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of a lot of motherfuckers don't make it to eight, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? <clears throat> What's yeah. the average? Probably like what, five years? Shit, it's three and a half. Three? Yeah. Really? Three and a half. I did not know that. You knew yeah. that, Quan? It might be know. three. I know you get your pension at three and a half. Yeah, somebody Whatever the average said is, three. Yeah. your retirement hey. is a little bit hey, nigga, longer. You, <laughs> you, you know, up with that motherfucker. That's, wow. that's hard. That's crazy. I never knew that. Damn, yeah, three yeah. years? I'd be hella mad. Yeah, hey, hey, I got you that nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. yeah. oh, my you mama. Sugar. Eight years? And not football. just eight years, nigga. At, I would say, how long you probably, I feel like you for sure been top three safety in I'll, the league. How many years you say that? Honestly, because you was a man, boy in Cleveland. One, I feel like my rookie year was like Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl play for real. Like my rookie year, I was in Cleveland. We didn't have no national televised games, so yeah, Cleveland had ass, to be living the in the Northwest. Yeah, to watch the games or like you got that Direct TV. That, that TV. They probably didn't show the Browns on TV because the uniforms no so Monday fucking nights. janky. Oh, what? Yeah, what? Asian ass clean. uniforms. <laughs> You made them clean. Yeah, I did. If you didn't so put that motherfucker on, that shit hey, was weak. Our unis was clean, though. You know, the brown and the orange, you know, it ain't too, like, uh, colors people think of that. Uh, it look crazy. But, like, you put funny. that uniform on right, especially we came out with the all browns one year with the orange helmets. Y'all was looking like hella <laughs> big ass UPS <laughs> workers. <laughs> <laughs> hey nigga, hey, didn't Bow Wow wear that shit in one of his videos? Oh, yeah, because yeah, he's from, from Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't know if he's from Ohio. Mm -hmm. from oh, Cleveland. okay. Yeah. How was playing in Cleveland? It was cool. It was cool. Like really? losing wasn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's be honest here. Cleveland, we love hey, y'all. Yeah. 
Cleveland was was better than a lot of places, you know yeah. what I'm saying, to play cuz they crazy about their football, so they just show you love like if we was in another another state and was losing like we was losing, we get no love. Like if we was in like Jacksonville or something oh. or like <laughs> Somewhere like Dallas, well, Dallas, you still gonna get love regards. You, I feel like football well, fans are just bro, dedicated fans. Man, not I mean, all of them. Some places, they are. really Jets, New York. Uh huh. You get no love. You trash. Swear. Hey, New York is just different. Them motherfuckers is is real dickheads, nigga. Like <laughs> niggas is just ruthless, bro. Yeah, New York. Like, like, like old girl Scarlett. What the fuck I look like? Telling the <laughs> nigga good morning, like. <laughs> So like Buster Rhymes, why like why you can't tell a nigga good morning? Like that shit crazy. Get the hey, fuck nah, back. Is like, aggressive though. Like, that's crazy. Real. Like they definitely aggressive. It's crazy. It wasn't it wasn't boring in Cleveland, like the offseason. Nah, season? man, it was cool. We used to have, we had our few spots. We had one little street that we go to a couple clubs we frequent the most. Okay. You know, we gonna get love there, so we ain't really had to do yeah. too much. But y'all was like was LeBron just, out was there. The first, yeah, nah, for real, because Brian was gone. Yeah. Oh, he had left. So that was your city. Oh, yeah, we ran it. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. We was Before there. LeBron came yeah. back, nigga, we <laughs> were in Cleveland. Hey, hey. Brian left. <laughs> Brian left. Uh, Brian left. As soon as I got drafted, that's when he did the Miami thing. And then when I left, he came back. I I'll see y'all hey, shit. Hey, 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 you a legend. You shared the city hey, with LeBron, hey, look, nigga. I'm like, damn, I want to go to a LeBron game. Hey, 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 look, this nigga was in the club, like, hey, send that nigga a bottle. I written on the bottle, had a note, nigga, this is my shit. Nigga, take your ass back. Hey, nah, it was cool, though. Like, I'm still, I got a lot of friends in Cleveland to this day. They just, that's move. You know what I'm saying? It's a good community. Yeah, because that's the Midwest. Like, yeah, that's like, the Midwest. Like, I fuck with like, the Midwest. Like, all right, is it. Was like some of the games like super crazy when niggas lost type shit? Like was niggas tripping on shit or was it like regular? Yeah. Like or just niggas just yelling what out? What you shit? mean like the fans? Yeah, like the us? fans tripping on mm. yeah tripping on y'all type shit. Nah, man, they was always like next week. Oh, <laughs> that we gonna they always had like, faith for real. Yeah. Like that's that's how they was. They unless we I don't remember losing to the point where they booed us like not oh, one okay. time. Oh, that's smooth. But they may have booed the, the coach. Like with some <laughs> them, but they ain't boo the players. I'm telling you. Oh, um, they boot the coach. Yeah, boo the coach. All we need is a really? better coach, my nigga. This nigga ass, bro. All these niggas are stars on this team. This nigga ass. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. All hey, right, for real, true, nigga. <laughs> hey, nigga. You better start coaching better, nigga. Or niggas finna knock this man. nigga out, like, bro. That's funny yeah. as fuck. That's how they boot the coach. And not but the like, team. you know, what I'm saying if it's certain play calls or situations, you yeah. know what I'm saying should have went for three or. You know, you know how you do how I be watching games, like, yeah. damn, why they do that? Yeah. Like yeah, Pete I Carroll, see what you, you said. feel me? Like, yeah. like man, that was dumb. So did Cleveland have Cleveland ever uh, cause I'm gonna get into your Super Bowl success yesterday. Me. I know you won a Super Bowl with the uh with the Broncos, you understand me? But did Cleveland ever win anything? Like a Super Bowl <laughs> or anything? The Browns? Uh, <laughs> fucked up. They won world championships before the Super Bowl. <laughs> Baseball, okay. right? Oh, you talking about like all around it's like the no, complete city. No, yeah, because I thought like nah, the Cavaliers didn't win until LeBron won yeah, one, won right? One. But the Browns Man, won a like Super Bowl nah, before. They won a Super Bowl, maybe the Indians. Nah. Uh -uh. So that's why they probably yeah. It was like one yeah. for all the teams. That's probably why they show love, nigga. They probably had the best season of all time with your ass playing. <laughs> Man, we, went, oh, nah. we went five and eleven. Uh huh. That's good four for the Raiders, 12, nigga. Four and twelve, five and eleven. Yeah. Four and twelve, five and eleven. But you was whacking niggas though. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I shoot. You know, they take your frustration out on the other team when you keep yeah. taking these L's. Man. <laughs> Damn. Hit niggas. Bam! Get <laughs> the fuck out of there for no reason. <laughs> Get your weird ass out of the way, nigga. For real, I was out there hostile. This nigga over there, nigga. It's my city, nigga. Yeah. nigga you from the Bay, nigga. What you <laughs> I know, right? Tripping on nigga. Nigga, it's my city, boy. <laughs> <laughs> nigga forgot he was from the Bay. Nigga think he from Cleveland. It's my city. For real. Oh. Nah, I live here. Hell, mamas. Hey, check it out, man. It's your boy, Louis. Bell. Hey, Indianapolis, Naptown, pull up. Get your tickets right now. You understand me? July 16th. I will be out there. That's a Sunday. You understand me? So don't find out on Monday. Pull up on Sunday. You understand me? Get your tickets. Do not miss the show. We're going to act a motherfucking fool. Thank y'all. Love everybody. Hey, hey speaking hey. of coaches, too, I, uh, I never, of course, I never played professional football <laughs> or basketball, but I never played sports as an adult. I played in youth, you feel me? But 
how is it being like a, a adult getting coached by another adult? Because like growing up playing youth football and shit, yeah. they they adults, so of yeah. course they cuss your ass out. <laughs> Little nigga, sit your ass down. Yeah. Feel me? But as an adult, how was he getting cussed <laughs> out by another grown man? That's hard. I never got cussed out by one of my coaches. Really? No, not as an adult. Like you gotta, <laughs> it's different type of players you and different type of coaches. You know, um, like some players accept getting cussed out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so hey, you know, all he's saying uh, is, I wish a nigga would <laughs> cuss me out. You know? Hey, hey, nigga, how was Sonny Bo handle it, nigga? Sonny Bo probably wouldn't ever made it to the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny Bo fucking around hit the coach. He gonna be like spree spree wheels. Uh, <laughs> Sonny Bo hitting the coach. Nigga, hey, bro, don't be talking to me, bro. <laughs> and my mama, bro, I ain't no quarterback and none of that, bro. Where you at? Oh, mama, Sonny Bo, he in Oakland right now. He chilling. He in the Bay, but you know he uh, back and forth from the Bay to Las Vegas now. Oh, yeah. you know, so Lost <laughs> Oakland. Yeah, yeah that's his. Hood. That's his hood. Lost Oakland. He done moved permanently. Yeah, yeah, he moved. He all the way yeah, in Lost Vegas. Oakland now. Yeah. Man, he tripping in Vegas. Up, tripping nah, on niggas yeah, in Vegas. Uh, it been a couple times, like in college, where I got into it with a coach because it's like you gotta with any man and man to man, you gotta get an understanding from the beginning. Yeah. You feel me? So, like you say, you did you one man coaching another grown yeah. man. So yeah. let's get this understanding. Man, so watch that shit. I man. started that in college. Like first <laughs> off, like I ain't never had a coach really cuss me out, even in high school. Like. You know, they might get on you, but, like, a cussing out, that's different. Like, coach tried that in college one time, and I stopped all the practice. <laughs> so what he say to you? Man, he tried to MF me for something, but I was hurt, and it was cold. I had a knee injury. At this time, I had, like, a Don Joy on my knee, you know, the big brace. Mm, yeah, you know, them ugly. Ooh, you can't even move. And, and it was cold, so he was locking up. We was in no. Oregon. <laughs> Jeez, man. man, so – it was just practicing, and I don't know. I guess he thought I wasn't giving enough effort, but mind you, I got this brace on, and I'm hurt. Bro. I'm just coming off a of meniscus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go to MF for me. I'm like, hey. <laughs> he said, like, motherfucker, <laughs> you better move them <laughs> goddamn knees. I don't give a fuck about that brace, you punk son of a bitch. <laughs> this nigga said, hey. that nigga took the name brace off. Hold on, bitch. Out, my, my knee ain't that hey, bad. I'll kick you in your ass. ass. <laughs> Man. Mama. So... Yeah, that was that. But then, like, when I got my rookie year, we had a calmer coach, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So he wasn't that type of personality anyway. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, being me being the type of player I was and my yeah. attitude already, like, I'm already off the hinge, like, in practice <laughs> or, like, in the game. So they probably were just like, nah, I ain't finna. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, they really. see how you was coming on and anyway, off the field. Yeah, on, yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah, we not finna fuck with him. He got too much aggression. <laughs> we can't fuck with bro. <laughs> oh, my mama, huh? The nigga like, all right, now I'm finna fuck somebody up on this field today. That's all I know. Niggas, I talked to him before the game. Don't talk <laughs> his, to me, bro. His other teammates I'm get talking. cussed out. <laughs> you don't talk to TJ Ward like that. Yeah, but, you know, it's a, it's a, it, it goes both though. ways, though, too, because, like, <laughs> if a coach talk to me regular, I'm going to respect him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's like, all right, cool. You ain't got to do all that extra shit. Yeah. So, but if you one of them players, that, uh, coach try to tell you something, you always snapping at him or yeah. uh, you yeah. just mute and don't respond. That'd get coach man yeah. too. Uh, <laughs> you know I know, right? I'm talking to your stupid ass. <laughs> what you been talking? We in the zone 28, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me, you son of a bitch? <laughs> hey, get, give me one of them footballs. Hey. Get those stupid ass out the, the nigga right this shit, nigga. <laughs> Spiral this nigga head. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, it, it's teammates get crazy. Yeah. You get to argue on the sideline doing games and shit. So <laughs> man, it be a lot of friction. It's like it's a lot of testosterone, That's aggressive funny. testosterone. Yeah. But it's like I come back to was respect thing. So yeah. everybody trying to win, everybody trying to get the job done. You may have a disagreement, have the disagreement, and shit, move on. Mm. Hey nigga, what was it a team that nigga you hated playing against? Like. That you had a vendetta against, or it was just any, or you approached everything like, nigga, we finna whoop these niggas. Or was it like, all right, nigga, I got it, I'm, I'm gunning for you? Uh, The Ravens, when I was in Cleveland, oh, like, they had the squad, though. That's when they Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Ooh. everybody. Oh, yeah, that, that ain't Ray more. Rice, like, they oh, were yeah. stacked. So we knew <laughs> it was a rival because, you know, they used to be the Browns. They just moved to Baltimore, changed the name. I, I never knew that. that. Yeah, yeah. Baltimore, the Ravens used to be the Browns. Art, Art uh, Rooney, or Art, yeah, Art Rooney. 
No damn one of them. <laughs> uh, moved him, Rudy uh, Gay, whoever the yeah. fuck this nigga is, <laughs> uh, <laughs> moved him to Baltimore, man. That's crazy. And um, that was after the Colts had moved from Baltimore to Indianapolis. Yeah. He moved him to Baltimore. So it was the Baltimore Colts? At one point, yeah. Swear I never knew that. That's crazy. Damn. Them niggas is like the Monstars, nigga. He said Ray Lewis. Bro, they had squad, big, man. nigga. I ain't going to lie. That's but crazy. we knew, you know, some games, like my, my rookie year, we – it was always a competitive game, but they would always beat us at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my last year there, we beat them twice. Beat them once at home. Like if I was watching the game one day, and I'm like, like just if you just took you know the Baltimore Ravens, Cleveland Browns out of it, and then think you know who was who, who had the history of winning, who had the history of losing, mm-hmm. you would have thought we was for sure like <clears throat> mobbing through the league. We smacked them. We was we had squad that year though. Mm-hmm. We had squad. <clears throat> But why 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 the Ravens? Because uh uh Just the rivalry, bro. It was just a nasty game, bro. It's nasty. Like yeah. you know it's gonna be a hard physical fought battle. It's gonna be a lot of shit talking, Ray Rice talking, like we all talk Ray we Rice was a boy <laughs> on offense. Like get into it all the time, bro. Like like bro, you already know how we be talking. I'm like, bro, hey. He used to try to get at you like you was a sucker or something. Yeah. You had to let he him tried know. me one time. Uh-huh. He tried me for sure one time. What'd he say? He said, uh, <laughs> he told me he had spit in my mouth. What? Some I shit, said, bro. You, you know right. I had to laugh that up. I'm like, that'd be the last thing you ever do in life, bro. I tell Yo, you. my mama. Nah, but uh, that's how, you know, them battles hey, go, my bad. Niggas gonna be that's re- some shit. Niggas gonna be reading on the screen. You know how, like, in the basketball games when they, uh, they read the uh, player lips and shit. He he gonna say on that motherfucker. I'm finna air this bitch out. Oh, Get this nigga away from yeah. me, my nigga. Damn. What type of nigga say you gonna spit in the nigga mouth? Bro, that's what I said. I said, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of zesty. <laughs> that's what I said you went the you went all the way this way. Like we talking. <laughs> oh, you doing? <laughs> you know, at first it caught me off guard. Like what? He probably said it looking like, in your nigga. eyes too, cause y'all got him on. <laughs> I spit in your mouth. Nigga, I, I, I'm a you like, nigga, yeah, you <laughs> hey, coach, hey, I'm bro. not gonna tackle this nigga no more, bro. This nigga say a zesty threats to me. <laughs> hey, sorry, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 TJ seen that bro. nigga come. He like hey, tackle this nigga, bro. Get this nigga. <laughs> hey, man, that was it yeah, for That's sure. Crazy. For sure, like it be just shit talking. Yeah. Then you know they was on the other side blapping shit too. Had Ed Reed and. Couple yeah. of other cats. And Reed was a boy. Man. In Ray physical. Lewis. That's crazy. Physical. That's a big deal. Steelers, nigga. though, too. Still that whole division at the time. Mm-hmm. Steelers, Bengals. And what year Browns, was this? That was like 2010 to 14. Mm. Like 2010 to 13, them three, four years. Niggas got a squad. Man, that was when the AFC North was like. <clears throat> man, the Steelers was cold. <laughs> the Bengals was cold. That when who was on the Bengals at the time? was out there knocking people, Damn, helmets off. I, I, I can't even. They think. had they had um, Carson Palmer, T.O. I Ocho. thought he was always oh, hella oh, yeah, weak. They, 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 they yeah. had Ocho. I thought Palmer was hella weak. Uh, I nah, never understood why he got Damn. the credit. Not about T.O. Yeah, they had Pac-Man and. Oh, okay. So well, the regular season, got he hurt was cool against the Steelers that year and towards ACL. But they was that was the year they were supposed to go. They That's had crazy. T.J. Hoosh, Chad. I forgot who they back was, but I think it was like Benson or somebody. As, as a safety, as a safety, who was like your toughest uh, quarterback you went against? Because you got to read them, right? Like you, you the safety, yeah, so you yeah, got to yeah, read. Nah. Like you really got to. Your yeah. opponent really fake way the quarterback, huh? Nah, for sure. <clears throat> a lot of situations because we making eye contact because he trying to read me and I'm reading him. Yeah. <laughs> so most of the game, I'm like, you, that's a great point. Like. I'm making eyes like, okay, look at me, seeing what I'm finna do, because I'm like the strong safety to do that we're doing all the moving. Yeah. So I'm gonna usually tilt the defense, or but what I do, they gonna know kind of what we in if we don't disguise it right. So, like the good quarterbacks at least gonna look at me like Brady. He gonna he gonna look at me. <laughs> he gonna look at me for a minute. You know, Roethlisberger, they gonna look, they gonna know. And especially when I play dime like down at the linebacker on third down, uh-huh. I'm the mic because I'm always on the strong side of the formation. Mm-hmm. It's like by the tight end, whatever side the tight end go to. Okay. And they're going to be like, oh, he the mic, he the mic. That mean he the, you know, the strong side of the formation. So they might usually go away uh-huh. or they're going to go right at me. Who was the toughest quarterback you went against? You would say throughout your career, you like, man. Brady. And uh, before I got to Denver, Payton. 
Mm, yeah, them niggas iconic. Mm -hmm. You a legend for just looking <laughs> oh, Tom Brady in the eye, being that nigga opponent. <laughs> that nigga to go. Oh, you know how happy I be? I'm like, yeah. nigga, I went against Tom Brady, nigga. Yeah. Like, I'd be arrogant as fuck if oh, I was a, if I just made it to the yeah. NFL. You, you took it there, nigga. Like, nigga, I really played against the best niggas of all time. Like, <laughs> oh, nigga, me. Brady know exactly who the fuck I am. Oh, me. I be telling niggas every day, <laughs> nigga, Tom Brady know exactly who the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk football around me, nigga. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's a hell of a shit. Around, like, that nigga really went and played against this <laughs> nigga, bro. <laughs> that nigga using that shit. Tom Brady don't know who the fuck out here. <laughs> that I nigga. done all these jokes. This nigga probably still don't know me, man. <laughs> Luck was cold, too. Who? Luck, Andrew Luck. Oh, for real? Yeah, he was tough. Mm. He was tough. Mmm. Because he, like. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, yeah I fake don't know who run. that is. Like, he would run. He got some speed, but he was big, too. So, like, you get him, you thought you had him for a sack. I done thought I had him about two or three times for a sack. <laughs> he done got rid of the ball. I'm like, God, big, strong quarterback. Just mm. muscling through shit. Like, <laughs> but, and then you hit him. He had already let the ball go. He going to compliment you. Like, oh, man, TJ, good job. I've been playing luck since college when he was at Stanford. So, we played a lot from college <clears> into the <throat> league. And it's just like, man. The quarterback. I I yeah. just had Marcus Peters come on. Uh, we had Marcus Peters come on, yeah, and I could I tell these that. niggas really <laughs> know these niggas because they be calling nicknames. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, Luck and oh, uh, Marcus was saying who was a uh, one of somebody yeah. AB. I'm yeah. like, bro, say these niggas full yeah, like, name. Nah, we, <laughs> it, we ain't we we don't know these niggas like that. <laughs> 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 I'm like, nigga, who you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I was just talking to Tom. Yeah, who nigga, Tom, Tom, about? Tom Brady, nigga, Joiner. <laughs> oh, like, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Niggas went to Maestro's. Niggas went to Maestro's. Yeah, yeah, I was just hanging like, out. Like, yeah, I was just hanging out with Ray. Nigga name, we'll, <laughs> like, nigga, nigga, what you talking about? Yeah, Ray? I, we know a lot of Ray. Yeah, nigga, nah, nigga you Ray talking Lewis. about Ray Ray? <laughs> nah, Ray Lewis. Uh, you know what I'm <laughs> Ray Lewis is a fear motherfucker, man. I seen him at oh, the me. Cigar Lounge uh, at Marshawn Lynch event, man. We was all chilling. Ray Lewis was there. Yeah. It was Ray Lewis and Michael Vick at Marshawn event. That was a gangster ass event, once I'm talking about it. It was the Cigar Lounge in Vegas. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. It was some shit Marshawn Lynch was throwing. Oh, okay. And okay. Uh, everybody, uh, it was a lot of people pulled up. And uh, I see Ray Lewis and Vic. And I'm like, I'm a real fan of Ray Lewis and Michael Vic. But yeah. them niggas got that same energy. Yeah. Hey. Like, ooh, I'm like, I don't even know. I don't <laughs> I wanna walk up on here. that nigga, boy. That, that was hella yoke just sitting there <laughs> smoking. I'm like, man, yeah. I just took check up the door. I walked by and was like, hopefully these niggas know me, so I don't gotta introduce myself. <laughs> Welcome nah. to death, bro. Hey, nah, nigga, that motherfucker real, like, niggas, oh. be real cool though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna give off that energy for real. Cause sometimes yeah. it's like you don't want everybody coming up to you, but if you bold enough or you, you know what I'm saying, you realize it's some brothers and we gonna be yeah. cool. Yeah, and yeah. it's you know, we gonna see yeah. you and introduce yeah. you, be like, oh, what's up, bro? Good for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like for the mothers, like, bro, don't come up they to just you. Big. <laughs> <laughs> they just too big for a misunderstanding. I mean, it's like, like if Ray Lewis get a misunderstanding while oh, I'm yeah. talking about nigga, I'm gonna go get more sure. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey Marshawn, oh, you be your NFL get, buddy's tripping. This nigga hell with me. Hey, get your nigga, bro. <laughs> get your partner, bro. This nigga Ray over here tripping on me. I just asked him and he you started doing me. his hands and everything. <laughs> oh my god, that nigga started sliding on me. <laughs> he ready to play. Big ass some dogs barking at me and everything. He's <laughs> hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Back your ass up. <laughs> I was talking to Vic and I was just surrounded by 12 uh, people. So no reason. All I did was ask a question. He's in there talking. Sick of him. Sick of him. I know her. Hurr, hurr, hurr. Hurr, hurr, hurr. He's like. Heal! We just nah, playing Vic, funny. man. We don't want no problems, man. Nah, nah, we fucking with you. Uh, we fucking with you. That crazy. nigga hate the word dog. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what's up? What's up, dog? Not, nigga, my name Vic. <laughs> my name Vic, nigga. You address uh, me as Vic. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mama. Uh, uh, that's all I'm like. I'm like, what's up, shit. dog? He said, my name Terrell. <laughs> hey, only three. No, I know dog. I Terrell. Oh, my. I'm like, all right, man. <laughs> 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 hey man, I was funny. I was one time, I was at the airport with that nigga uh, T.O. and it was funny because you know how like you be on the phone with, like one of your partners and you get to roasting the nigga like look at this fake ass woo woo woo. Mm -hmm. That nigga took around and said, "Oh, that is that nigga, bro." Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the part about it was, I know how much I paid for my ticket. I was in some regular shit. Yeah, he was in some regular shit too. So I didn't believe it was him. But I said, 
That nigga head really big for real. Yeah. Yeah. Was Terrell was <laughs> doing Terrell that big ass head. I said, that motherfucker big and Yeah, no, nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Me and Marshawn Lynch, we was on a flight, bro. This nigga, uh, this nigga went to sleep, bro. And this nigga put his head on the uh, on the seat, right? <laughs> bro, I looked at this nigga, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, his head, he looked like a lion. He was just sleep. He was just like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga look like Scar. Bro, and, I, and I'm right next to this. Now I'm like this. I'm like, I'm like, I see why people scared of this nigga, bro. I'm I mean, like, this hey, nigga look like a real lion on, hey, hey, nigga. on Delta right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time I felt protected. Hey, I'm like, I'm glad hey, I'm with this nigga, man. I'm hey, like, no uh, cap. The thing about Marshawn, <laughs> the thing I feel like is two uh, things that make that nigga fearful. I mean, make niggas fear for him. His size and the fact that he's a real town nigga that don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, like, when I seen him on, on this little shit, when he, it was, I don't know what the fuck. It's like, I find the most random shit about this nigga. He was, like, in the mountains or some shit with, like, this little yeah, white yeah, person. Yeah, a little TV shit. And it was, like, an animal, like, a wild hog or some shit. Yeah. And the way that that nigga was like, oh, yeah, nigga, I'm finna get him. Yeah. Nigga had a little stick shit. And I'm like, <laughs> he he's really him, though. Yeah. And, and that Man, nigga, all, all our Bay Area athletes is very yeah. authentic. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, that's I forgot key. your homie name. The nigga that came, the football uh, nigga, Marcus Peters. He a cool nigga we too. We got TJ yeah. Ward. Mm -hmm. We got Najee Harris. Yeah. We got Joe Mixon. All okay. these niggas are authentic. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about this football <laughs> shit. We niggas first. I mean, you understand me? Like I, I said on the podcast, yeah. we got <laughs> niggas and we got African Americans. I mean, these is niggas, niggas right. that we produce out the Bay. <laughs> We don't, bring, we don't promote African Americans in the Bay. Nigga. Oh shit! You gotta be a nigga. Uh, All right, so look, nigga. As far as the Bay, what's like? What's a motherfucking sp food spot you got to go back to every time you touch back down? Man, this is Mexican spot in uh, Pittsburgh called the Mecca, New Mecca Cafe. Mm -hmm. Mecca, man, that motherfucker is good. Hey, <laughs> I got a slide. I've been going to that place since I was, I don't know, in middle school at yeah. least. And it's still a classic. They done renovated and everything. Used to be like this little small cafe bar. Mm -hmm. But I don't go every time, but most of the time, that's like that one spot I got to get. For sure. Oh, oh mama. Yeah. I got I to gotta, I gotta tap back in out there. Or nigga, we need to get the experience, bro. Yeah, yeah, I got I to gotta yeah. bring you through the yacht, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, me. yeah you got to hey. go to the eat, the deep east. Yeah, man. Oh, nah, I, I took him to East Oakland. Yeah. He hey. been all through Oakland. I got to take him to Antioch now. It ain't yeah. shit to do in Antioch, yeah. but you just got to go outside. I what I want to do is I want to throw there. like a little community thing because in Oakland, mm -hmm. we got so many community events where it's like, yeah. you know, we make a reason to all come together. So, you yeah. know, Marshawn do his shit, Fab do his shit. Mm -hmm. But we got a lot of people that, uh, a lot of talented people that really made out of Antioch too. Mm -hmm. And at this point, like it's a it's a new it's a new city. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's a new hood. <laughs> Antioch wasn't a hood at yeah. first. It's a hood now. So uh -huh. I gotta nah. niggas gotta make it a yeah. a community nah, thing. But we now. got a lot. Okay. Of, uh, me and my brother we started our War Boy project last weekend. We just uh, went to this big carnival and conquered at Mount Diablo and had okay. you know our setup for you know, our nonprofit and everything and reached out to the community. In July we got a War Boy weekend. Um, Bowling on Friday night, Saturday camp. I went to you know one of saying? your events. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was at the yeah, Antioch that Bowling Hour. Yeah. We're doing it again. Oh, We're it's going to be Antioch again? Yeah, yeah. Same bowl, oh, man. Hey, shout out, yeah, bro. We, we for sure. Man. I'm pulling up. We got to hey. tell all the. We yeah, got to tell Maurice uh, Jones Drew. He from he from Antioch, too. Uh, okay. Yeah. You know, uh, Shit, Maurice we, Jones. For the most part, everybody he named, we grew up together. We didn't yep. grow up right there. That's all. Like on top of each other, but like we didn't play sports together from Pop Warner through high school. Now, known each other for years, so. It's real, like the bay ain't big. Yeah, it ain't big at all. Yeah, so nigga, motherfuckers I, say they from the bay. Yeah. Nigga, you, if you we if you, we don't know you, you ain't from the bay. <laughs> bay ain't that motherfucking big. You feel me? Uh, yeah, only person that can, only people that can really be from the bay that niggas really might not know is San Jose people. Because mm -hmm. San Jose is like the South Bay. So they really, the, like, that's the Bay yeah. Area. But mm -hmm. it's like a lot of people from the East Bay don't go to the South that's Bay. That's what I was telling yeah. my partner. I'm like, bro, y'all really, y'all the bay? Technically, mm -hmm. but y'all really not the bay down there. No, I ain't the bay. <laughs> you know, I had to mess with you, though. You know, yeah. I was like, you know, we's an hour and a half to get to y'all. Like, I get to sack faster. 
It matters where you coming from. It matters where you coming from. No, I love saying ho, man. Yeah, because San, yeah. Cause San Jose uh, and EPA. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, that's where the niggas at over nah, there. For sure, EPA. They EPA. put them out, too. Yeah. EPA, yeah, yeah that's what, uh, what's the name from, right? Uh, the nigga that played for the Raiders, uh, Adams. Yeah, yep. Okay. Devontae Adams. Okay. Yep, Devontae so, Adams. He from uh, EPA, right? Palo Alto, yeah. They got a lot of talent. Y'all know him in a sense of, like, seeing him around. I never seen him because he from the South Bay. Okay. So it's like... He went to school with one of my good friends, uh, younger brother, Harper. Josh Harper played receiver with him okay. at uh, Fresno State. Oh, okay. Uh, so. He yeah, them South Bay <laughs> niggas. Because Aaron Gordon from <laughs> Even like Mil Peters. Too. Oh, okay. A lot of cats like Vita Vey from Mil Peters. Oh, really? The Tampa Bay Bucks. Like, they put a lot of talent out, too. I swear but it's like, it's like, it's real. Mil Peters like an Antioch kind of. Uh, Hell no. Uh, I ain't South met a nigga. Bay. <laughs> oh, okay, of the South Bay. The South Bay. Oh, okay, because you know EPA would be like Richmond of the South Bay. Yeah, for okay, sure. Say, y'all break all that Yeah, shit we confusing down. the people yeah, now. We yeah, getting yeah, too Bay Area yeah, the yeah. fuck out. I, 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 you like, point, I'm like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and everybody that's right. watching at home confused too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, my. All, all I know is Lou took me down. He won four. Had some fire. Uh, I had a tacos and a burrito. That shit was going. Going crazy. And then when I went with the homegirl nigga, I went to halftime. Oh, yeah, that's and, the homie spot. And niggas was faded down. Niggas like, hey, bruh, you ain't got a trip. You, you funk with anybody. I'm on him, bruh. I'm like, I don't even know <laughs> oh, you like that, it, my it, nigga. It, but niggas. It could get funky there, too. Hey, get him a drink. It's spicy. A you drink. know they shut that motherfucker down? Yeah. I did not yeah. know that. I was just driving through hey, and I'm like, oh, it's gone. gone. Nigga. I was like, that motherfucker. Bro, the food was crazy. Yeah. Bro, I was drunk off my ass. That's nigga. probably the last place they really was just shaking their ass in that motherfucker. He was actually dancing at halftime. I'm going to tell you, nigga, when I went, when I called you, when I told you it was at Lake Merritt, yeah. uh, we left there, nigga, um, and we went inside. Like ten minutes later, nigga, D-Lo walked in. As soon as D-Lo <laughs> walked in, um, the nigga Drew Banger. That nigga say this story every time, every episode. But, <laughs> nah, but that, it's that, the third time he said it on the hey, show. It's the love, nigga. Yeah. But 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 like you need to come in, back at this point. Nah, I need to get back. you some more oh, open yeah, nah, stories, <laughs> nigga. Nah, but when he came, nigga, like everybody started going up. They played his music, and I seen bitches just going, nigga. Coming out the other little part where the little oh, order the food at, throwing it. I'm like, oh, I fuck with the bay. Like, so, yeah, I'm going to tell that story every time, nigga. <laughs> uh, nah, I hit on my first nah, show out real. there and went crazy out yeah. there. Yeah, man, you part, you part of the culture out there, man. Sure. Yeah. Like, like, on me. You authentic, the bay definitely going to show love. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got to matter where you from. Yeah. Like, you going to get love, but. If you ain't getting felt, feel corny, <laughs> like we don't, nah, it ain't it. Yeah. <laughs> you could be the most famous motherfucker all the time. If you corny, we ain't yeah. going to claim you. <laughs> nigga, you could sell, you could be big as Bad Bunny or whatever that, that nigga name is. Hey. We'll be like, that nigga hey. ain't from the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, nigga. Where he from? Man, we don't even know. <laughs> Some of they that say you from the Bay. <laughs> they say you from the Bay. They say you from the Bay. Oh, mama. I just had a little Kayla hey. on there. We was just talking about that shit. Like, yeah. That's funny. Ooh, Kayla for sure legit. <laughs> I don't know about these other hoes. <laughs> I've never seen them. <laughs> That's funny. Now, I, I know a little Kayla. I, I was... Um, oh, you wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. she she came on her episode coming out. Yeah, I um I was following her on Instagram. I don't even know how I followed her shit, but I'm like, she hard though. Lil' Kayla go crazy. Rapper. Like hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm she like, she hard. I never heard of her. Yeah, she and, go and crazy. Then, um I never met no, I seen her at a at a, at a party I, I hosted the um Stunner Girl. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, they funky. We ain't finna get into them politics. Oh, oh, <laughs> not like yeah, that, but yeah, yeah but they got they little yeah. girl that, shit they got that, going that's on. Only, that's the only two females, females that I know. Funkin like that now, too? I asked yeah. her about all that shit, and she explained how females be funky. Y'all yeah. go check out that I episode. only know about three, I think by the time this episode come out, that Kamaya, shit already nigga. gonna be out. Like, that's all I know about is them three. Kamaya, for sure. Girl, yeah, Kamaya girl, legend. Sure. I, don't I, don't, I ain't Kayla. She new to me. Mm -hmm. but, I'm gonna check her out though. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, her shit, her shit go. Back to the football, man. I don't Back know. We didn't, we didn't got two Bay Area on there. I hope y'all yeah. still here watching <laughs> this shit. Nah, they, nah, they want because they, they want to know. They want to write to them like, all right, I'll go to the Bay. <laughs> Lou said, talk like this. I'm going to fit in. I'm not going to get my oh, shit. Do, as soon as you get to the back, you got to do is pop your collar, man. You're going to blend right in, man. Hell no, don't tell that yeah, to white man. nigga. What's up, my boy? They were like, they were like nigga, get this Slap nerd ass, ass nigga out of here. Hey, the nigga said, hey. you're not going to bit my shit, are you? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, hey, um. hey. I'm going to ask this question real uh -huh. quick. 
and he probably you you older than Lou, right? Yeah. All right. Was there ever a movie shot in the Bay that y'all claim? Cause I can't think. A movie yeah. that was shot in the Bay. Mm-hmm. Um, that I could think of off top. Nah, they shot some of that Matrix in the Bay though. That last one. Oh, that's crazy. Because I was I was in the city and it was shooting time. Man, they got the streets all blocked <laughs> off. So I'm in my I could really see them shooting from my room though. That's all the movies that it was like, oh, that's the new Matrix. So that's wow. the one that just come to mind off top. But it's a couple other ones that uh like Miss Doubtfire. Like they shot that in the Damn. In, in Frisco. For real? Yep. See, I didn't I even know about none of that, that shit. Yeah. See, that's how you, that's Full show. House, that show was shot in Frisco. See, that's yeah. some city shit. He on yeah. the city <laughs> shit. Yeah, you know. Like mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, he they did the town in uh, nigga the Mac, oh, nigga in Black Panther. The town, yeah. that, that was one of the ones. The town, no, the I'm, town yeah, that that the movies, uh, man. it's like a like the bank robber niggas, right? That no, wasn't no, that's about Boston. Oakland. Nah. I'm talking about they shot in the town oh, when they did yeah. Black no, Panther. No, I thought because it's, it's a movie, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah nah, that's out. that's Boston. Yeah, the white boys crazy. wasn't in Oakland. Yeah, I, I was gonna say like, okay, all right, cool. I'm learning something new. No, no, we shot the Mac in Oakland, man, in the '70s. Got them and me had Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor was trying to be, he was trying to, uh, he was trying to be like Bill Cosby and all that. She was trying to be clean and all of that. Then he got to Oakland and that's when he got Berkeley. Then he started cussing and talking. Fuck, I don't give a fuck about no bitch. All that, you understand me? Hey, yeah, we turned Richard Pryor out. (laughs) 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 Talking about Richard Pryor wouldn't be Richard Pryor if it wasn't for the town, man. You understand me? That's hard. Yeah, damn, I can't think of no movie. That's a that's a good point. No, we got Fruitvale Station and we got the Mac. That was going in Oakland. Oh yeah, set it off wasn't really. Nah, that's, that's like LA, a piece. LA. But didn't they do a piece out there? We oh nah, Poet of Justice. When Pac had came to the city, I, yeah, they yeah. was driving yeah. from LA. LA there, yeah. See, but we boozy. We claiming some LA <laughs> shit because they slid to Oakland one time <laughs> yeah. in the scene. They was in Oakland for a minute. <laughs> 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 now we claiming LA hey, shit. Really, he was down the I five the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Interstate ninety, they went yeah. B side. Yeah, that's yeah. hella funny. Hey, so they really wasn't nowhere. Show Lou, you gotta make it. You gotta make the first movie in the in the yeah, town. Man. Make that motherfucker go. We gonna put it together. That's right? a great part nigga. of it too. I'm gonna be. Oh yeah, mandatory. I'm gonna have you nigga. tackling a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, get this nigga, man. Cause I'm thinking about that shit. I'm like, nigga, like not even to bring that shit. Up, Cause I know niggas be like, oh, bro, that's old. But like, niggas ain't even thinking to do a movie during a hyphy movement, not to capture none of that shit. Like, oh, it's captured. All that it's shit captured. is. But I'm saying like in a in a like a but like in movie, that we was like, yeah that would probably would have like he was super young doing the hyphy movie because I, I was outside I was yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm part of that shit that's why I signed to go 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 yeah I was a part of that shit my first hey, no, party look, Mr. Fab because performed because that, that motherfucker <laughs> See, it's hard. crazy too thinking about it too Simba had a house a house party or a party yeah. and he had Mr. Fab come as his. Like special guests. That's hard. It was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's hard. That was my first. Yeah. I, that's not my first party, but I'm claiming that. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first one that was going crazy, crazy. That's hard. On Mamas. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was stupid. That was a crazy time in the Bay. It was hella fun, though. Hey, man. Y'all niggas had me putting foil on my teeth, niggas. I went a long, like the, the, the long ass little. Uh, you remember those? Those chains, it was like kind of like the like the dog tags. Yeah, you had a like, dog tag. I had the long little yeah. motherfucker nigga with a big ass. I be telling people t-shirt. we the we the country California nah, niggas for real. I mean, like we bro, relate more to the south places, than LA niggas. We're I mean. like <laughs> you go places and people be like you got a country accent. Yeah, and I be like, man, I'm from the Bay. Like, <laughs> but every they be like, bro, you got a country accent. Yeah, and I be like, well, yeah. that's yeah. a Bay accent. But then I relook. Look at it like a lot of our grandparents is all Louisiana. from Texas and Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I feel like that's how that's how Watts is. Like every little se- Watts is small, but every little section of Watts sound like a different version of the country. Like far as we food. are from the South, though. Mm-hmm. Come but but it'd be so crazy, like when, yeah. like like how you said when you go place, like you got an accent. Like nigga, I ain't got no accent. I talk regular, nigga. You yeah. got an accent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but they all proper. Yeah, they're like nigga. Nah, <laughs> yeah. we here at. Like, nah, I think man. LA niggas more proper than us. For sure. Low key. Oh, mamas. We be fake country. We be like, Adam, why? <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn, hey, why? Hey, 
man. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah. 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 The reason why I was I, talking to the bra yeah. the other day. You understand me? She yeah. told me she gonna sign hey. it to my pocket, Pete. Hey, 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 but the, the niggas you gonna catch talking like that is the old heads at the barbershop because that's how I got to saying, what's up? Wah. There's a barber named Ike. I'll never forget, mm-hmm. nigga. And it was Ike, Joe, Frank, and his other niggas. So they kind of looked like the barber niggas that was on um, Coming to America. Like, mm-hmm. literally, looked like them niggas, yeah. bro. Swear to God. Ike was a young nigga, but he had an old soul because he bought all the old niggas. He was up with a boy. What's up, man? I don't even know where he's from to this day. But that like, nigga probably from that, the Bay. <laughs> <laughs> probably nigga. trying to migrate. Probably shot a nigga something. And trying to be low key <laughs> in LA or something, you know? <laughs> we all yeah. over the place like space with this shit, man. Yeah, nigga. And y'all are the only two niggas I seen with grills, like niggas from the South and yeah. niggas yeah. from the Bay. Yeah, mama. And yeah, we, we took all that to Atlanta, too. Yeah, like, they was crazy. doing their crunk stuff, but you go to Atlanta. I lived out there for a couple years, and, mm-hmm. you know, they got touches of Bay. Oh, mama. For sure. Facts, that high fee crunch. And vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. We came together. <laughs> oh, mamas. We was the ones going crazy you know, in the club, like in that mm-hmm. area. Like, we had the high fee. They was going crunk, jumping all over the place, dreads. We was doing the same thing, just to different music. Yeah. yeah. We country California niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, hard, man. Uh, before we wrap it up, man, I want to uh, ask you a full, football questions, man. You understand me? Uh, I'm just curious uh, who talked the most shit in the league when you played in it? <laughs> like a, that, I played against or a teammate, or it don't Ooh, even matter. That's tough. Yeah, it don't matter. Who <laughs> talked the most shit in the league in the NFL when you play? Probably Steve Smith for sure. One. The light skinned nigga, the, the nah, wide receiver. Nah, the Steve, yeah, Steve Smith for the uh, Panthers. Swear. Yeah, for sure. He was that's one crazy. of uh, Anquan Bolden for sure. Really? That yeah. nigga looked like he didn't even nah, talk. Anquan Bolden. <laughs> oh, what's uh, bro? I used to play Garcon, Pierre Garcon. These receivers, like, these are the ones I'm getting to, like, violent conversations with. Like, you know what <laughs> So the niggas is like, like the Gary Payton. Oh, mama. Like, 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 all right, you know, after we might have the ones that the receivers that wasn't, you know, they uh, physical receivers. Steve Smith, he'll try to crack back on you. Garcon, same thing. All right, oh, man, I done seen Anquan uh, Bowden knock crack back on my teammate so bad one time. I got... <laughs> I was offended. I was like, God, <laughs> why you do that, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? For you real? know one of them hits when the whole team yeah. got to run over and yeah. like, hey, my hey bro. Hey, check it out, bro. Is he woke? Pull that shit again, nigga. I'm going to knock your ass off. Oh, God. Hey, Griff, get this nigga out. Nigga, I'm t- All right. I'm going to air this bitch out. You going to get like this nigga off the Like one of them. Like, woo, woo. Wow, yeah, for so, real? That's crazy. Yeah, them three, like I said, Ray Rice earlier, uh, them the, them the ones that come Swear. with the time. Shout out to them. I, 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 Because I, I feel like if I play in a professional, if I was a professional athlete, I'd yeah. have been talking hella shit. So yeah, I'm a I fan too. of people that talk shit. Nigga, I'd have been calling yeah, niggas yeah, bitches, yeah. hoe ass niggas, <laughs> nah, all yeah. type of shit, nigga. <laughs> fuck yeah. you and your family, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I'd have been saying hella hey, shit. Yeah. N- niggas gonna make them thought they call the Tracy gonna fuck up the whole shit. Hell yeah. Because I'm passionate for no money. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I he got in the fights at the gym <laughs> Hooping against niggas This is for free I'm paying to be here And I'm passionate So fast nigga This nigga can't guard me This nigga a hoe uh, <laughs> And this for free So if you gave me millions To play in a league Oh I'm disrespecting niggas I got a monthly This nigga's this. a bitch He can't guard me <laughs> hey, I've been rubbing shit. it Don't touch me nigga I've been tripping nigga yeah. <laughs> And the this ones I like, stupid. like, honestly, I like the ones that talk back. Because yeah. then it get me, like, get my blood going even more. Yeah. The ones that don't say nothing be the ones like, hey, bro. Yeah. You talk shit to them, they just. <laughs> like, hey, bro, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so you <just> <laughs> Come just... back here. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to say nothing. This is a perfect moment to throw your life away, nigga. Come on. <laughs> hey, who was the hardest person you ever had to tackle? Because you was known. Being the hardest hidden safety, damn. damn near, you might be the hardest hidden safety of all time. You understand me? You you <laughs> top ten. Yeah, yeah. I say I'm top ten. Top I'm ten, top 10. <laughs> and for safety as being hard hard hits. Yeah. Y'all better check up them highlights, nigga. T.J. Ward, nigga, <laughs> take your motherfucking head off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but like like you said, tackling, I take a lot of pride in that. Not just the big hits, but just getting catched down. Like mm-hmm. I. I feel like I was one of the best tacklers, for sure, 
and when I was playing like at safety, I couldn't believe nobody. I, I don't think nobody tackled better than me. Alone from Damn. the hits, like getting guys <clears throat> down in the open field behind the line of scrimmage, it wasn't no safety did that better than me when I was playing. Mm. Who was the hardest person to tackle? Frank Gore won. Oh, I was so. going to, I should have guessed before. <laughs> yeah. I should have guessed before I asked you. Because I swear I was going to say Frank Gore. I'm like, yeah, bro, that nigga Frank Gore, yeah. that big nose black nigga, <laughs> he looked it so hard to tackle. I was this scared to that nigga. Hey, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, Frank nose. Gore, I love you. But he just looked like he hard to tackle <laughs> by his face, in his body. <laughs> I'm like Frank Gard, man. I, hey, man. wait, 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 look, look, look. This nigga said by his face. <laughs> by his face, Frank Gord looked it like he was hard to tackle. Uh, <laughs> Hey, he had that. He crazy. had that, that face in uh, that hey, look. Hey. <laughs> look what do you look like, man? Look nigga like. <laughs> Frank Gore just looked like this in every uh, interview. Uh, in the helmet, out the helmet. <laughs> I'm like. Cause I'm a Raider fan, and I'm like, boy, I used to be like, man, the Niners got a good uh, running back. Uh, I wish Gore. we had Frank Sorry. Gore. Yeah, Frank mm. Gore, like he he had good feet. <laughs> low center of gravity, bro. His pad level would get low. He was the first person to lead to run me over. Mm. Like, he didn't keep going though. I ain't never got <laughs> one time I kinda got for a side. Yeah, because they pull up the highlight <laughs> yeah, on your yeah, ass. One quick. Time, look, <laughs> look, look, I, I never got I ran over the wrong yes, side. Look, I had to change my body. Nah, but uh <laughs> that the train. for real, that was the only time. Two times. Frank Gore got me. We was playing Frisco we came back from Cleveland. And that's when they was Kaepernick. And, you know, that was the, uh, wasn't Super Bowl year. Maybe they the year they lost to the, the Green Bowl. Bay that year. Okay, One of them man. years. But they was stacked. Man, Frank got to the second level. It was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, every safety, I don't care what they say. You're going to have that all oh, shit moment because it be you and nobody else. Man. The goalposts. Like, God you all ain't got a hand on him, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Now you go your teammates like, where the fuck y'all at? Hey, what the? <laughs> bro, he come through high, and then he get them high knees, doo -doo -doo, and he kind of start chopping. Man, he got the chop in him. Dipped on me. I said, Ooh. oh, wow. I grabbed that foot. <laughs> that last line of defense. You know what I'm saying? That's like, he, he gonna fall. Floaty, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he got down, but. Yeah. Yeah, Frank Gore for sure. Um. Jamal Charles was cold. Jamal Charles, yeah, who is Jamal that? Charles for the Chiefs. On the Chiefs, yeah, that was he, he number twenty five? Yeah, yeah, he was a boy. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he was a That's boy crazy. for the show. Was Freeman got me one time when I was in Tampa. I should have just hit him from the angle I was coming, but I tried to like, I'm coming from cover two. It's deep. He untouched. Right up the C gap. I'm like, oh, let me cut him off this way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Turn him back to my <clears> other <throat> safety. So instead of just coming inside out and making him go to the sideline and tackling him and hitting him that way, I tried to run and get on the other side of him yeah. and force him back this way. When I went this way, I ain't had no power. Wow. <laughs> he kept going. I said, God damn it. He got me. Yeah, he yeah. got me. That, like, for, that was the only me. time I got a guy like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can remember. If you got a clip, show me. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't. see, I wish yeah. I could say shit like that, nigga. If you got a clip of me getting ran over, nigga, show me. <laughs> I'll be hella arrogant if I went to the league. I think that's why they, the Lord didn't bless me yeah. with making me be a professional athlete. Yeah. This nigga, because I would have got the money game. too soon. Nigga, don't let me be a millionaire at 18, 19. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I'm public figure talking shit. I mean, nigga, I'm rocking ice star. I might out of my, I might have had a chain in the game. Had a whole Cuban nigga under my chest pads, nigga. Hey, yeah, this nigga, um, now. this nigga gonna be like uh, either Jamie Foxx in that one football shit or uh, the nigga Booby Miles. This nigga <laughs> with the chain. You call your ass Juke and Jamie Beamer. with the oh, chain. Mama, on, nigga, I'd have been like Ocho Cinco and them niggas. <laughs> I'd have been doing hell of a little shit, nigga. <laughs> so, <laughs> pop my collar after every touchdown. Yeah, man. <laughs> ah! Another TD, you understand know me? LB with the TD, you understand know me? All type of names for myself. That nigga stupid as fuck, man. Uh, yeah, but I just had to settle for my player on Madden. That's all my. That's what it came to. <laughs> but at least I got. At least yeah. we get to uh, interview these niggas yeah. now, man. <laughs> this is true. Oh, yeah. true. Uh, hey, okay. nigga, do you play uh, games online? Football online? Nah, man. I don't play the Cause, games. Cause you know how niggas be talking Duty shit for a little bit. But shit. Did a nigga ever recognize you? Nah. Like, I don't, uh, nah, because my name ain't, 
I think my gamer tag was hit a four three. So like, some regular shit, so they ain't. Yeah, it ain't like. Yeah. Because I know niggas be yeah, talking niggas shit. Niggas ain't trying to be famous. Yeah, I wasn't house. streaming it. I'll yeah. just be deathmatch, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the duty. Yeah. I ain't even played a, uh, what's the one they be dropping from the helicopter? Uh, Was that the shit they did the fuck Warzone. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I don't play the, uh, the Madden no more. I'm hey. It be yeah, too I'm... janky, bro. You, <laughs> come on, bro. I'll be like. Life got too real. I sold my <laughs> shit. What this? What's going on? I sold my <laughs> game, nigga. I got grown. Hey, hey nigga. I sold my game for a pistol. <laughs> real nigga. Hey, when I was real 17. nigga. Real nigga. Oh, my mama, I char- I changed. Uh, <coughs> I gave nigga my PS3. It's <laughs> a hundred dollars for a three eighty. <laughs> Hey, unless you got I'm that told motherfucker. Lewis Bell stories, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga said, nigga, I ain't with that game shit yeah. no more, nigga. I got that 380 ain't that far. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't too hilarious. much change. No, That's <laughs> hilarious, nigga. Yeah. Uh, would you ever sell your Super Bowl ring? I mean, I pray the guy ain't no reason I have to. <laughs> if he got bad, bad, like, oh, shit. He's going. Look, look, nah. I mean, I, I pray I don't get to that point. But to say never? Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Hey, See, that's a real man, bad nigga right man, here. Man, I, I, that boy. Yeah, yeah, nigga. It. It's on video. <laughs> they know who played it one, nigga. So you can have this ring for an M, nigga. Oh, mama. Shit, yeah, right man. It's crazy. Hell yeah, man. It's the Cali Kickback team. DJ, man, I'm, I appreciate you sliding man, through Chopping already. Gang with us. Yep, you understand yep. me? Yes, you sir. know, we've been locked in for a minute. Wow. Yeah. Oh, mama's Quan. Shit. You appreciate already you. know what it is, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you, yeah, nigga. For sure, man. You, you too, man. yep. Yes, sir. Hey, man, it's the Kelly Kickback, man, a.k.a. Thug Match. Uh, Thug Mansion, you understand me? A place where real niggas can go in Cali, you understand me? Ain't got to worry about all that sucker shit and that Hollywood yeah. shit. You understand me? Yeah. It's your boy, Louis Belt. I'm gone, man. <laughs> Hey, you nigga, you know what I just realized this whole time? What? You ain't had Teddy shit up here. I realized it in the midst of the shit, and yeah. then that's why I'm like, let me just not a, you can't yeah. 